Commander Shepard, I'm Specialist... Oh. Uh, I, I beg your pardon. I thought you were alone. I was just leaving. Commander Shepard, I'm Comm Specialist Samantha Trainer with Alliance R&D. I was part of the team retrofitting the Normandy after you turned it over to the Alliance. There weren't many of us aboard when the Reapers hit. Slow down, Specialist Trainer. You're doing fine. Thank you. I worked in a lab. I never thought I'd be serving on a ship. Why don't you tell me about the retrofits? The ship's in line with Alliance regs now, and it has new, top-of-the-line, quantum entanglement communicators. In fact, Admiral Anderson had intended to use the Normandy as his mobile command center. That's no longer an option. Yes, I heard he chose to stay and fight. I in any event, I'm honored to serve under you, Commander. For as long as you need me, that is. They only sent me here to oversee the retrofits. Shepard, some of our systems require further testing, and Specialist Trainer has been extremely effective during installation. I would prefer that she remain. Got it, Edie. Oh, wait, since when does a virtual intelligence make requests? Edie's an AI. Fully self-aware. Oh, I knew it. I knew Joker was lying. Jeff requested that I pretend to be a simple VI to protect myself. I apologize for the deception. Thanks, Edie, and I apologize for all those times I talked about how... attractive your voice was. Anyway, shall I give you a tour? I think you'll be impressed by the new upgrades. In the CIC, you'll find the galaxy map where you can set the Normandy's destination. You can also check your messages at your private terminal. The War Room houses a strategic command center for mission-specific intel and war analysis. The shuttle bay contains an armory where you can modify your equipment between missions. Finally, Liara has set up a lot of hardware down in the old XO office on Deck 3. I think she's claimed that room. And there you are. Still the same ship as before, it just flies Alliance colors now. Speaking of which, I believe Admiral Hackett would like to speak to you at the VidCom. Commander, come to check on your new recruit. Just wanted to see how you were doing. Still trying to get my bearings. When I was working on the Normandy's upgrades, I left at the end of the day. I didn't even have a toothbrush or a change of clothing until I made some emergency purchases on the Citadel. Next time you need something, just ask. You're not alone here. Oh, it, it, it's no trouble, Commander. I'm sure you have larger concerns. We can put in a requisition order. My toothbrush is a Scission Promark 4. It uses tiny mass effect fields to break up plaque and massage the gums. It costs 6,000 credits. Okay, yeah. You're on your own with that. In any event, I appreciate you giving me the chance to stay. Was there anything else? I'm surprised you're worrying about a toothbrush. We got bigger problems right now. Oh, believe me. Seeing the Reapers on Earth was terrifying, but I won't help anybody by bursting into tears here in the CIC, will I? Being here on the Normandy helps. If anyone in the galaxy can stop the Reapers, it's you. And if flagging your messages and managing strategic intel helps you in any way, then it's worth it. Where are you from originally? A colony in the Terminus systems, actually. Though I studied on Earth, at Oxford. My parents were from London. They loved Earth. But they wanted the freedom a colony life could offer. Even if that freedom has its share of danger. If I recall correctly, you grew up on Mindwar. Given what happened to Earth, I don't think we can count on anywhere being safe right now. Quite true, Commander. How'd you end up in the military anyway? My family didn't have money for university. When the Alliance saw my aptitude scores, they offered me a full scholarship. I served my required years after graduation and decided to stay. I really like the challenges of the lab. Al although, I'm sure I'll grow to love frontline service as well. You worked in Alliance R&D? Yes. You'd think quantum entanglement would make communication easy, but imagine incorporating multiple incoming sources and then networking them with extrapolations of time lag data to construct a coherent situation GUI. It's an exciting challenge. Um, for me, anyway.
Carry on, specialist. Commander, comm systems are going haywire. Whatever's happening is centered on deck three. See if you can get to Edie. I'll check the AI core. Commander, are you alright? It was fairly intense up here. I can only imagine what it was like down on that moon. I thought you'd be more concerned about Edie. Edie is a huge asset to this team. If she'd told me about her plan to obtain a body, I'd have volunteered to help. I did not wish to force a conflict of interest between our friendship and your duty. I'd have preferred a conflict of interest to a hard restart of half our systems. But thanks, regardless. While you're here, though, I found something while scanning Alliance channels. Grissom Academy is requesting help. The Reaper invasion front will hit them soon. I thought the war would close most schools. Grissom Academy is more specialized than a normal school. It's home to some of the smartest students humanity has to offer. Their Ascension project helps gifted young biotics. If it had been open 20 years ago, I bet you'd have been there. Yes, I sent a young man named David Archer there. I'm just surprised they're still open. Some of their work has Alliance support. That might be why they stayed. What can we do? A Turian evac transport responded to their distress call, so normally I'd say we don't need to do anything. But something sounded off in the Turian signal. I had Edie perform an analysis. It's fake. Edie thinks it's Cerberus. She said the fake Turian signal was similar to the one that lured you to a collector ship? Long story. In any event, whoever faked the signal wants us to think Grissom Academy's being evacuated. But I believe they're still in danger. Good catch. Maybe you belong here after all. If this really is Cerberus, hopefully this operation is something worth investigating. It could be simple disinformation. Trainer. Good catch. Thank you, Commander. Those poor colonists on Eden Prime. First the Geth attack, now Cerberus. For what it's worth, our new crew member doesn't need a translator himself, but he shared a Prothean language tutorial program. It was apparently designed for servant races being inducted into the Empire. Charming cultural clue. I just got word. Everyone from Grissom Academy has arrived safely. We wouldn't have known about them if you hadn't caught the distress signal. Nice work. Thanks, Commander. Commander, I've set up a secure communications with the Turian and Salarian governments and added their combat data to our boards. Hopefully it'll give us some idea of what's going on. So, Arachni, that must get your mouth watering. Can't do a story. That's as classified as it gets. I suppose it would cause a panic, but wouldn't the news drive up recruiting? It might also piss off a Krogan with diplomatic immunity. No thanks. You know, my lab studied the Ragni. Long distance communication with no time lag, the ability to control workers, and at close range, the Queen can even speak through dead or dying members of other species. Glad they're on our side. If we can develop instant long-range communication without quantum entanglement, maybe when this war is over. Are you all right, Commander? It sounded like things were bad down there. The Turians took some heavy losses, but we got them out okay. Well, whatever you did down there stirred up a lot of Turian comm traffic. What are they saying? Sorry, it's encrypted. Cracking it would take at least a week, and it would be wrong. I heard what Victor's did. He was a brave man. I don't think I could... Oh, there I go again. I was going to say that I could never do that. But? But I was wrong. Being here, watching you, you've shown me what it means to serve in the Alliance. You're a good officer, Trainer. Glad you finally realize it. Thanks. Not that I'm volunteering for bomb jump duty. I'd suggest sending someone who has armor first. If possible. The Turians have given us top-level access to their combat data. Their ships are already moving in to help the Alliance fleet. You actually secured a Krogan-Turian alliance. It's one thing to hear about Commander Shepard. It's another to see her in action. Genophage cure, huh? This beats the hell out of reporting on the Milgram City Council. I don't think I've heard of Milgram. Which planet is that again? Reckonstein. It's right next door to the Citadel. I'm a colony kid. 
Commander, I've got a lead on something interesting. Have you got a minute? Commander, I've found something you need to see. What have you got? A group of Cerberus scientists cut ties and fled. Perhaps they finally realized they were on the wrong side. We don't know what they were researching, but they were among the elusive man's top scientists. They could help build the Crucible. Maybe we could recruit them. Lots of Cerberus people think they're doing the right thing. I know I did. And you were right, Commander. Whatever crimes Cerberus is committing now... I was on Horizon when the Collectors attacked. Really? You'll recall I mentioned growing up in the Terminus systems. I was visiting my family at home. While the Alliance was running studies, you were saving me and my family. Has the Alliance tried to make contact with the scientists? They've been unable to find them, but they're searching. As is Cerberus. I've been monitoring Cerberus communications. I've charted signal frequency from various Cerberus cells by location and cross-referenced known ship movements. You found them? I believe so, yes. Nice work. Put it on the map and I'll give it a look. Thanks for your time, Commander. Trainer, if you're not doing anything, I've got a few hours free. Would you like to come up? Your cabin is gorgeous. I've seen apartments smaller than this. Oh, an actual shower. The faucets in the women's bathroom are crap, by the way. In any event, I thought you might be in the mood to play. Chess? I bought a board on the Citadel. Gooey interface, not nearly as much fun as real pieces. But I hoped you might give me some pointers. The most exciting thing you can think of is playing chess? Well, if you're not up for the challenge... Try me. Ha! Oh, come on! <laughs> My word, Commander. It's almost as though you wanted to spare your pawns the indignity of living under my regime. In real life, that tactic would have worked. Well, in real life, one doesn't move on an 8x8 square grid. You know what I mean. The pawns are infantry. A good infantry line like the Krogan can take a charge like that. That reminds me of a joke. What's the difference between Commander Shepard and a Krogan? One is an unstoppable juggernaut of head-butting destruction. And the other doesn't have a smart-ass comm officer to keep her in line. Ooh, that's even better than the number of testicles punchline. <laughs> I'm glad you didn't run back to the lab, trainer. Thanks. So, rematch? Hell yes. So, are you doing a story on the Asari who were turned into Reaper creatures? The Ardot Yakshi? No. I think that story would be perfect for you. The hidden dark side of the most beautiful race in the galaxy. We have a huge Asari audience. If I do that story, I could lose them. That seems a bit like pandering. Ever seen how fast an e-democracy can abandon its allies? No. If I do my job, you won't. The Cerberus scientists are safe with the Alliance. The Brass thinks they'll be a big help on the Crucible. First Grissom Academy, now this. Nice work. You know how fighter pilots put those little stamp things under their cockpits for each kill? I'm thinking of getting one by the galaxy map every time I analyze the crap out of some data. You're turning into a regular Marine. Yes, well... I guess you're rubbing off on me. Nice work. Thanks, Commander. It feels good to bring someone out alive. I've added the Corian fleet's combat data to ours. They've got amazing technical coverage. They might even have the Solarians beat for strategic processing capability. Admiral Corix has the civilian fleet back in position, and just in time. I hope we can help the Corians. Looking at them, they're like us if we fail. We won't fail. Damn right we won't. The Allied Primes are relaying any hostile combat data they can decrypt. I never thought I'd be linking Geth into the system. 
I hear you were on the ground with the Reaper. He fired up at us a few times. Joker pulled the Normandy through some insane maneuvers to stay out of the line of fire. It's hard being in a fight like that, especially when you're not the one flying the ship. Joker's one of the best, though. At first I was nauseous, swinging around in my safety harness. But then I was furious. Just... <sighs> enraged. I wanted that thing dead. You didn't want the Reapers dead when they attacked Earth? I wanted them defeated. I wanted Earth saved. But I never wanted to physically tear them in half and watch them blow up. Congratulations, trainer. I believe you've discovered your fight-or-flight instinct. Perhaps I should have stayed with Chess. Although now I think I'm spoiled by the lack of explosions. Thanks for listening, Commander. It was a good idea. And right now it's the best lead we've got. In any event... Good luck. Have you found your story on Thessia yet? No... I'm trying to word it right. What happens if you word it wrong? If I'm lucky, the Citadel Stock Exchange drops 2,000 extra points. And if you're unlucky? I don't know. I've never really been unlucky. Brilliant endgame. Excellent use of the Bay Lucian Gambit. Is this... space chess? It's called Kepesh Yakshi, Blade of the Nightwinds. The Asari have played it since... We were supposed to meet for lunch. I'm so sorry. I entered the tournament on a lark. I, I, I thought I'd be eliminated in the first few rounds. Oh, don't worry. You'll be free to join your friend in 20 moves or fewer. To Sousa. Trainer, would you like to just give me your frigates now? I always take them sooner or later. Polgara to Sousa. She's knocked me out of four tournaments. Specialist. Commander? Kick her ass. Roger that. Your frigate. Neural feedback. It disincentivizes sacrificing pieces casually. A few more centuries, trainer, and you might be a challenge. You must not have that much time to practice now living on that warship. My people have more respect for the great thinkers. I'm able to live quite comfortably teaching Asari Maidens tactics and strategy through this game. I'd expect the Great Thinkers to be helping with the Asari war effort. I mean, Earth was taken by surprise, but Thessia... You had all the warning in the world and the Reapers just rolled in. Excuse me, I'm trying to play. You're trash-talking. That's another strategy that doesn't work on the Reapers. It didn't work on the Rachni either. Or the Krogan. Have the Asari ever won a war? The Asari have a culture that was exploring space while you were using stone-tipped spears. I think you're supposed to hit the button there when your turn is done. I'm sorry, Tassouza. This might sting a bit. Commander, and I apologize again for missing lunch. All for a good cause, trainer. Carry on. You sure you want to leave that here? I can't very well bring it back to the Normandy. I'd have nowhere to put it. This place is amazing. Puts the prefabs back on Horizon to shame. 
And it has a hot tub. Go ahead. Cheers! Oh, this is lovely. And good for the sinuses. I might not even need my antihistamine tonight. Your what? It's a pill. I'm allergic to dust and cats. And public speaking. I take a proton pump inhibitor for my stomach, too. And an inhaler for asthma. Do you have everything you need to stay healthy? Just about. The only medication I can't find is sucrocapsinol. My family doctor prescribed it for my headaches. Sucrocapsinol? That's a sugar pill trainer, a placebo. Oh, that sneaky bastard. And now that you've told me, it probably wouldn't work anyway. There was some scented bath oil out there somewhere. Could you grab it? Yeah, here you go. Thanks. Eyes are over here and up here. <laughs> hey, do you have a loofah? A loofah? This is Anderson's apartment, remember? I highly doubt he has a... Found one! Somebody left an overnight bag with toiletries and massage oils and... You know, girly stuff. Do you know who Kay Sanders is? She has great taste in adjustable massage ones. Commander, it seems Tally's taking what happened on Horizon hard. She's in the lounge if you want to check on her. The Alliance has issued warnings about Sanctuary. Cerberus bastards. Horizon was my home. Just tell me you're going to take Cerberus down. Cerberus is already dead. They just don't know it yet. And when their base is nothing but a smoking crater, remember that you're the one who helped us find them. Thanks. Ready whenever you are, Commander. Specialist trainer. I'm all right, really. I'm as surprised about it as you are, but I'm all right. Your credit to your uniform, Samantha. I had a very compelling example. <laughs>